hello friends welcome back to honey hands kitchen i hope you're doing well today we are grilling this yummy chicken oh hey, it was so delicious and i enjoyed it with my family so why not share with you my friends so quickly we have our chicken in the brine chili powder garlic the rest of the ingredients i'll leave it in the description box below so kindly check that out and I've, I also have another video of grilled chicken on my channel. You can check that out and know how I prepared my brine. It is very good. So we're just going to take it out of the brine and then put it on the surface. You allow it to cool down totally because it was in the fridge. So we allow it to cool down totally, pat it dry and we can just go ahead and marinate it. So I have my garlic first, which I'll smear it on the chicken it may be found basically so we're basically doing this on each side of the chicken i do love garlic a lot of my chicken so just in case this is too much for you you can decide to use um little or not that much as this one but it does go very well with chicken that's why i love it but the brine like i said the brine really does a lot you know it helps the chicken to be moist after it's grilled so kindly brine it put it in the brine before you start this process and you're going to achieve a very good result so i'm going to add my spices you can use any spice of your choice but these ones are the ones i use i had the spicy mix it's a little bit spicy and you know the brine is consists of salt basically so you don't want to add salt at the beginning of the preparation of the chicken so please don't add salt just add your spices and when you're done you can taste what i'm adding now is the paprika paprika does give it a good color too and it's quite tasty so that's why i chose it but if you don't like it like i said you can always adjust the um, the spices i'm gonna add my chili powder this is the local one if you're in ghana you can get this but wherever you are just get chili powder and it will work perfectly so we'll do this and also add black pepper just make sure you do you, you know you you dab it into the chicken you know so that it does go in well but we are definitely going to marinate this overnight so it will get in and it will be delicious at the end of it so i'm adding my black pepper to it and we are going to repeat the same thing for the other side of the chicken so let's just turn it and then repeat the same thing we did for the um outer part to the inner part of the chicken so the inner part of the chicken normally has a bones in it so that place um i guess it it actually takes more um spices because you know the bones will absorb it easy so be gentle on that side of the um, chicken so paprika once again chili pepper or chili powder once again yeah And then we can go ahead with black pepper. So that's a good amount. We just dab it into the chicken. And what we are going to do is we're going to marinate it overnight. So you put it in a plastic bag and keep it in the fridge, not freezer, fridge overnight. Then we can go ahead and grill it the next day so that's basically that's what i've done we are just going to go ahead and put it in the fridge so it's the next day it has uh it has been brought to room temperature after I, I took it out of the fridge so let's prepare another marinade so i have mayonnaise here 
guys mayonnaise does a lot to chicken it makes it very moist on the outside so the brine has helped us with the inside making it moist in the inside what of the outside so that it doesn't get dry so let's use mayonnaise so i have mayonnaise and then i have my oyster sauce i actually bought it from a chinese shop so that one too is going to give it a very nice flavor we'll go ahead and also add some soy sauce to it I actually use equal amount or almost equal amount of these things or these um spices so you just give it a good stir make sure it messes very well and then we are going to just go ahead and pour it on the chicken so that we can just go ahead and kill this goodness hmm it smells very very good and you will love your results after please give it a try so yes basically that's what i'm doing i'm just you know pouring not too much but just a little yeah so you use your fingers to you know dab it into the chicken and we are going to repeat the same thing for the other side of the chicken guys thank you so much um my subscribers i'm so grateful thank you so much for the support and if you here and you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet hmm, what are you waiting for these are very simple um recipes but very very delicious and the flavors are quite intense so why not join the family by clicking on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you do not miss it so now we're gonna just drizzle some oil on it just on the top because the inner side has fat so that one is gonna serve as the oil so just drizzle it on it and then we're gonna put it on fire so this is a charcoal grill so just prepare your fire whilst you are doing this thing so that by the time you are done the fire is also ready this was quite hot when i started it i thought it, it was gonna be okay but it was quite hot so i ended up taking some of the um, charcoal from the coal pot if you have a very good um grill um whatever you can use it but this works perfectly be turning it you know so that it um grills evenly or it doesn't really burn so keep turning it keep adjusting it and when it's done you just turn the other side for the other side also grill so this is the inner side as you can see you see the black hay and she is not bent it's all flavor the spices that's what has become like this so it's very flavorful so we we'll just go ahead and grow the other side i did both sides for about 15 minutes each and yeah look at this this is very nice moist inside moist outside please try this recipe i know you will love it and leave a comment when you do let me know how you enjoyed this with your family i am so grateful to you guys keep subscribing keep liking keep sharing with your friends and let's grow together i am so grateful for you guys thank you so much Bye bye